tick tock, tick tock. The end is slowly approaching, and there is nowhere to hide anymore. What we greatly feared has finally happened, leaving behind an aftermath that is causing our world to crumble right before our eyes. The scintillating red supergiant star, Betelgeuse, has finally exploded. The long-awaited supernova has unfolded, threatening the stability of our environment and announcing the arrival of a terrifying dawn for mankind. What evidence did scientists uncover that made them arrive at this claim? How bright would Betelgeuse shine in the night sky if it explodes? Could this explosion lead to the destruction of our planet? Join us in today's video as we explore the intricate details of Betelgeuse just exploded and something terrifying is happening. For centuries now, Betelgeuse has maintained its dazzling beauty in the night sky, captivating onlookers from the Earth. It's almost as if the red giant star casts a spell by its alluring look that mesmerizes everyone. Betelgeuse is a prominent member of the elite league of stars that shine brightly enough for us to see. Situated in the constellation of Orion, this red supergiant star is the tenth brightest star in the night sky and allows everyone to appreciate its reddish-orange color. One intriguing feature about Betelgeuse is that it is one of the three stars that make up the Winter Triangle Asterism and marks the center of the Winter Hexagon. What this means is that from the beginning of January every year, Betelgeuse can be seen rising in the east just after sunset. Once it gets to mid-September and down to mid-March, the star is visible to virtually every inhabited region in the world, except Antarctica, at latitudes south of 82 degrees. So on a typical day, once daylight says goodbye to the Earth and the night's darkness sets in, it is possible to spot Betelgeuse among the array of stars that adorn the sky. Although Betelgeuse is visible to the naked eye, the star is clothed in a thick cloak of mystery. Scientists are amused by the fact that this fascinating star varies in brightness, and this peculiarity has stayed with it for as long as we can remember. This intriguing feature got the attention of researchers and forced them to put on their thinking caps. At the end of the day, they came up with explanations for this unique phenomenon. It turns out that the red giant's varying brightness can be traced to its massive size. Betelgeuse is not your regular star, as it surpasses its contemporaries when it comes to size. For instance, if we decide to replace our sun with Betelgeuse, this stunning star would extend to the asteroid belt and have a mass that is 20 times that of the sun. Impressive, isn't it? As exciting as this fact sounds to the ear, it is nothing compared to its other mind-blowing features. When scientists investigated Betelgeuse further, they were beyond shocked to discover that it was a young star with an age estimated to be between 8 and 10 million years. It took a while before the reality of the star's age sank into the minds of astronomers. This is because they were expecting the star to be much older, given its mind-boggling characteristics. Compared to our Sun, which has an estimated age of 4.6 billion years, Betelgeuse is an infant. Although our Sun towers above Betelgeuse in age, the red supergiant makes up for this in other areas. More so, scientists have made us understand the reason behind Betelgeuse's massive size and brightness. From research, it was discovered that supergiant stars like the Betelgeuse burn rapidly through their nuclear fuel and waste no time before going supernova. What this means is that stars like this evolve rapidly, and from the little we have been able to piece together from historical texts, it is evident that Betelgeuse's evolution happened right before humanity's eyes. Betelgeuse's mesmerizing story began long ago before anyone alive on Earth today was born. However, to understand how scientists came to the conclusion that the red giant star has exploded, we have to start from the beginning, at least the beginning that we know of. In this exciting journey, we would be sailing from context down to the shreds of evidence that scientists have uncovered in recent times to paint a vivid picture of what is at stake. This interesting story began sometime in the second century BC, when Chinese astronomers stumbled upon a discovery that had them smiling under the watchful eyes of the bright night sky. They had observed a distinct looking star, known as Betelgeuse, which was characterized by a yellow hue. If we decide to skip several scenes to the next important historical moment, it would lead us to the middle of the second century AD, 
when Greco-Roman astronomer Ptolemy was captivated by the charming looks of the Betelgeuse and described it as orangish or ruddy, which remains valid till today. Likewise, medieval observers in the Middle East had witnessed a similar coloration. At this junction, the question brewing on everyone's mind is how colors were named or perceived in the past. Nevertheless, we shouldn't forget that there is a physical possibility that Betelgeuse underwent a color change within a few centuries. More so, the Chinese astronomers may have observed Betelgeuse during its yellow supergiant phase. As years turned into decades and decades into centuries, it is possible that the star metamorphosed into the red supergiant phase that we know today. Another noteworthy feature about Betelgeuse is that it is a variable star as it seems to conform to some cyclic behavior. For instance, in December 2019, scientists discovered with rude shock that Betelgeuse's brightness had diminished considerably. Researchers couldn't believe their eyes as their brains went into a clockwork state, trying to search for possible answers to the uncommon event. Across the globe, those who were used to gazing at this star could see that its brightness had dipped alarmingly, birthing different thoughts in their minds. This abysmal event gave rise to the rumor that something strange had befallen the star in its constellation Orion. However, the story soon took a sharp turn, albeit a positive one, by early 2020. The star had returned to normalcy as its brightness now mirrored its past glory. It is interesting to note that this change didn't happen at once. It was gradual, as stargazers noticed that Betelgeuse's brightness was returning to normal with each passing month. As this event unfolded, some scientists came up with a theory to explain this bizarre occurrence. According to the theory, it is believed that some of the star's cycles had coincided, leading to a deep dip in brightness. However, when scientists decided to seek the help of the Hubble Space Telescope in investigating this strange event, the HST made some exciting but distinguishing observations. From what the Hubble Telescope uncovered, it appears Betelgeuse had expelled an enormous amount of scorching material into space, and this led to the formation of a massive dust cloud. This created dust cloud didn't come into play as it birthed something much more damaging. Researchers discovered that the dust cloud blocked a significant portion of the star's light when observed from the Earth. As expected, this transformation blew everyone's mind. Nothing had prepared or forewarned us about this event. Imagine waking up to see that the tenth brightest star in the night sky had lost its position and was now ranked lower than the twentieth brightest star in the cosmos. It was like a bad dream that had materialized out of nowhere. Scientists heaved a sigh of relief when Betelgeuse began showing signs of improvement as the star's brightness picked up its pace, rising steadily to its glory days. However, the incredible display didn't fizzle out just like that. The storm is far from over. From what astronomers have observed so far, the star is currently displaying a state even stranger than mere dimming. In recent times, researchers have been bewildered by a more startling behavior Betelgeuse exhibits, a behavior that has been a source of concern for the global scientific community. Everyone can't stop talking about the fact that Betelgeuse's brightness has not only increased, but has overrun its normal luminosity. The dipping brightness was no longer a problem, now, we were facing a much bigger and menacing problem. The star's brightness had increased beyond the expected range. With bated breaths, researchers watched as Betelgeuse's brightness kept increasing until it overshadowed its normal luminosity by over 50%. This surprising event has caused unrest in the astronomical community, as both amateur and experienced astronomers have buried their heads in reanalyzing the data made from observations. They have been hard at work in search of a possible explanation for these bizarre occurrences that have unfolded like a horror movie right in our faces. In a bid to determine the cause of this fix, some scientists believe that the dimming events could be the handiwork of dust or coinciding cycles. Another hypothesis that has risen from the shadows of this unsettling problem is that the star may have developed immense sunspots. Nevertheless, a considerable increase in brightness is a different story entirely, one that requires deeper investigation to unravel the mystery behind it. Yet some scientists believe that there could be a linkage between both events. 
They say the increased brightness may be related to the previous event, and they have painted a compelling story to prove their points. It is possible that when Betelgeuse expelled material in the ill-famed event of 2019, it caused a substantial disruption in the star's plasma flow. Therefore, it wouldn't be out of place to say that this current behavior, bubbling in our faces, could be an aftermath of that ejection event. As we pour over this possibility, scientists have uncovered another way out that may see us through this tunnel of confusion and finally put to rest this era of maybes. This hypothesis has grown wings over time as it rests on the shoulders of many leading scientists and ends this raging argument. Researchers have hypothesized that the reason behind Betelgeuse's unprecedented increased luminosity is that the red giant star may be nearing the supernova phase. A supernova is one of a kind event, one that would surely make its way into the history books. A supernova is the powerful and luminous explosion of a star. From what scientists have uncovered so far, a supernova usually occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion. After this process is initiated, the original object, which is known as the progenitor, would either collapse into a neutron star or black hole, or be utterly destroyed to form a diffuse nebula. The energy that will be released if Betelgeuse were to explode today is no child's play, as it can have a damaging impact on the surrounding space. The mere thought of this is enough to get the average person worried. Who wouldn't be wary of an explosion that could release a massive amount of energy, estimated to be as much as the energy released by the sun in its entire lifetime? Imagine that immense amount of radiation coming from just one event. If that radiation, which comprises gamma rays, X-rays, and cosmic rays, finds its way to the Earth's environment, then a global health emergency may have to be declared. This is because researchers have revealed that this radiation could damage DNA and other cellular structures and likely cause cell death, mutations, and cancer. Therefore, it would be for us if this radiation never gets to our planet, because the thought of the potential health problems is seriously disturbing. However, scientists have assured us that there is no cause for alarm and that we should put our minds at rest. This is because the Earth's atmosphere is more than capable of shielding us from this harmful radiation that may be released in the aftermath of Betelgeuse's explosion. The sheer thought of the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova anytime soon has kept many astronomers awake at night. We can't blame scientists for reacting this way, even though conservative estimates suggest that the star is still 100,000 years from its impending supernova event. Some researchers have uncovered evidence that this event has occurred right under our noses. This evidence arrived on the scene and put everyone in shock as we grappled with the unsavory reality. The evidence lies in a paper published by Hideyuki Sayo and colleagues at Tohoku University in Japan. This groundbreaking scientific research has dropped a bombshell right on our laps. Betelgeuse had already experienced a supernova explosion before we could do anything about it. What's more frightening is that we may start experiencing the aftermath of this dazzling cosmic event in the next 10 years or decades from now. Strange and unforeseen cosmic displays are knocking on our door, and it's only a matter of time before they get through. Astronomers are still reeling from the shock of this news because the last observed supernova that exploded in our galaxy was Kepler's supernova, which occurred during the 1600s. That was centuries ago. Researchers have taken to observing Betelgeuse's variability patterns, and what they unearthed left their mouths wide open. They have uncovered four distinct periodic changes occurring at intervals of approximately 2200, 420, 230, and 185 days. Although the origin of the longest period remains a puzzle, scientists believe it is a fundamental period, with the shorter intervals potentially serving as overtones. Scientists have come up with a model that suggests that Betelgeuse is in a late stage of carbon year burning. If we interpret this encrypted message correctly, it means that the red star may be on the verge of a historic explosion, and this elevates it as a prominent candidate for the next expected supernova event within our cosmos. However, this story is far from over. 
some plot holes have emerged thanks to the inquisitive minds of scientists. Over time, there have been opposing observations when it comes to the ejection of materials and the star's subsequent recovery. Nevertheless, there is a general agreement on this matter, and it tilts towards a mass ejection event, which is not a rare occurrence for various types of stars, albeit on a smaller scale than our Sun. This is where the story gets to the climax. Supernovas are real. We witnessed one unfold in real time in 1987. Therefore, even though our estimates as regards Betelgeuse's explosion may be uncertain, it is advised that everyone stays alert. We can't be too relaxed about this scary possibility, especially if we reminisce about the fact that Betelgeuse is tricky to observe. Oftentimes, astronomers are put through a hard time whenever the bright star slips behind the sun and won't be visible again until August. When this happens, scientists are helpless, as they are kept in the dark about what this fascinating star is cooking up during that period. Nevertheless, what we do know is that it is bucking its usual trends by brightening. Now this is where things hit the roof. The star's gigantic size and relative proximity, at approximately 650 light years away, permit us to resolve a disk when observing it. This story is further made interesting when we remember that most stars are too far away appearing as mere points of light. However, Betelgeuse tells a different tale because it provides us with the rare opportunity to capture direct variations in its light output through photography. Therefore, we not only have a star that could potentially go supernova, but we are also equipped with enough data to collect, including pictures, even though they may be a bit blurry. We have toyed with the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova for a while. The next step in this scintillating story is to picture what would happen if the red giant star did explode. What does it mean for us and our planet? The first answer to this question is that we would be embraced by a captivating spectacle that would keep everyone spellbound by its shimmering display in the night sky. However, there is no need for our hearts to race at the thought of this event because we are secure back on Earth. No harm should come our way, all things being equal. This is because Betelgeuse is very far away from our planet, about 500 light years away. So when it does go supernova, we would be safe from any debilitating effects of the explosion. However, we should bear in mind that it won't be the brightest object in the night sky, thanks to the moon still maintaining its dominance. The moon will overshadow Betelgeuse as the brightest object in the sky, despite the latter's intimidating explosion. More so, Betelgeuse still has the sun to contend with, as the latter will not relinquish its luminous superiority over our planet for any reason. Nevertheless, the red supergiant star will cast its shadows at night and remain visible during the daytime for about a year. The tale keeps getting more exciting as we explore the possibilities further. For instance, Betelgeuse's supernova will remain visible in the night sky for several years until it gradually fades away. However, there might be a brief period where it reclaims some of its former brightness, but eventually, it will continue to fade until the familiar shoulder star in the constellation, Orion, disappears altogether. Scientists have assured us that this supernova won't pose any danger to us, but other creatures are not so lucky. The supernova could create some confusion for certain creatures. This is because some animals depend on moonlight for navigation and the presence of an additional bright light in the sky casting shadows may throw them off their game a bit. This possibility extends its branch to astronomy, which will become handicapped during this period. Astronomers would be faced with a daunting challenge, as observing the moon when the night sky is shining brightly can be very tricky. Now imagine what would happen if a very bright supernova was introduced into the picture. It would complicate matters further. Moreover, Many telescopes will be more concerned about capturing the supernova's glory than anything else. They would pursue this goal, even if it meant adjusting their observations. Also, there would be warning signs before the visible explosion, such as the appearance of neutrinos and gravitational waves, giving astronomers enough time to prepare their telescopes. Over the years, the public has clamored for NASA to use the James Webb Telescope to observe the remnants of Betelgeuse while rumors have emerged that the Space Telescope has uncovered the remnants of the red, supergiant star. Scientists have decided it is time to clear the air on this matter 
and have revealed that the JWST has not discovered the remnants of the star, nor is it positioned to make this discovery any time in the future. This is because Betelgeuse is too bright for JWST. The JWST was specifically designed to spot incredibly faint objects in the vastness of our cosmos. Now, if the telescope were to turn its gaze toward Betelgeuse, it would be confronted by the star's blinding brightness. The brightness would be so much for the JWST that it would overwhelm its detectors. This is one event we wouldn't want to occur, as we are not ready to reduce our precious JWST yet. Betelgeuse's infrared K-band magnitude sits at minus 4378, which makes it about 1585 times brighter than the saturation limits of JWST's filters. A vivid picture of the gravity of this situation is trying to stare at the sun without sunglasses. Imagine what would happen to your eyes. Although the JWST is helpless when it comes to detecting or ascertaining when Betelgeuse would go supernova, there is no need to worry because scientists have blessed us with numerous other observatories capable of achieving this goal. These observatories, located in space and on the ground, are equipped with cutting-edge instruments that can help us pinpoint when the gigantic star is about to go supernova, so we won't be caught unawares. Thanks to these observatories, we would be able to properly document the aftermath of this historic explosion and probably solve the puzzling mysteries of this cosmic spectacle. In the meantime, let's keep our eyes on these observatories and see what they uncover in the coming days. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.